create a picture graph. This is another way to display data, but you do it using pictures. So first of all, let's look at our data. We took a survey of a class, and sorry, we're not in focus. Took a survey of a class and asked them if chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry were their favorites. So in this class, 12 students said they liked chocolate, 15 students said they liked vanilla, and six students like strawberry. So now we're gonna create our picture graph. So I'm gonna draw a table, kind of similar to this one. I'm gonna draw it horizontally. It can go vertically. And I'm gonna give it a title, Favorite Ice Cream Flavors. Okay, now I have three favorite ice cream flavors. So I'm gonna put, actually I'm gonna label my columns. So here's where I'm gonna write my flavors, just like I did here. I should probably put an S, flavors. And then I'm gonna write students because the picture we put in there is going to represent students who like those flavors. I have three flavors, one, two, three. So I'm gonna draw two horizontal lines. And my flavors are chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Now, there's one more thing that I need for a picture graph that other graphs don't use. You use a picture or some kind of a symbol to represent what you're counting. My nose is running, so that's why I'm sniffling, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna use an ice cream cone to represent the number of students that like a particular flavor. Okay, that's my picture. Now with picture graphs, an ice, the symbol doesn't always represent one of whatever you're counting, one student or one person or whatever. It will usually represent more than one. So you need to check the key, and that's what this is called, is the key, all right? And so now I'm gonna look at my data. I have 12, 15, and six. The easiest, usually graphs are done counting by twos, counting by fives, tens, 25s, 50s, or hundreds. So I'm gonna look and see, I don't wanna draw 15 um, vanilla cones, or draw 15 cones. So I wanna draw less than that. So I want it to represent probably two. <coughs> okay, I want my ice cream to represent, or my symbol of an ice cream to represent two students. It's a lot less drawing. Okay, so for chocolate, I have 12 students who like chocolate. So if I count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, that's six symbols. I can also think of it like division. 12 divided by two equals six, two times six equals 12. So I'm going to draw six cones. Sorry, my hand's a little wet, I just washed my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's, um, ah, my wet hand messed up my paper, sorry. Okay, so, Six cones, that makes 12 students who liked cones. If I count by twos, two, four, six, eight, okay, 10, Okay, so 12. now for vanilla, I'm gonna make um, cones, but here's the problem. 15 is not an even number. So if I count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, the next one is 16, it's halfway in between. But let me show you what we do when we do that, okay? So we have two, four, 
six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Now we want half of another one, so I'm just going to draw half of a cone right there. Looks a little weird, but that's half of a cone. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and one more is 15. So there's 15 vanillas. Then six strawberries, two, four, six. So that means we need three cones drawn. Two, four, six. And there is your picture graph. Now, you can interpret this data as well. What flavor do students like most? Vanilla. What flavor do students like least? Strawberry. How many more students like chocolate than vanilla? Well, you can match up the cones for the same number of students. Then the extras you count as your difference, how many more? So there's two, three. So three more students like vanilla than like chocolate. For chocolate and strawberry, you have three here and three here. You have one, two, three left. But remember, each cone is worth two. So two, four, six. Six more students like chocolate than like strawberry. Or you can say six fewer students like strawberry than chocolate. And that is how you create a picture graph.